I always love these kind of crossroad fights. Uh, Here comes Montiel trying to slip. As for now, coming to the end of round two, Sid slips into the night. Good right hand. And of course, what, what can happen, big shots. You know, Montiel at the end of round two in that last minute, Dave. Throughout round three, now Montiel. And I can understand why he would have a lot of confidence. Montiel is not jabbing his way in now. He's just trying to come in. And Montiel had a rough round and a half, and he changed his style in that last round. Here he comes in hooking again. Good hooks. Now hustle everybody. And here comes Montiel with a sampling of some success. A couple left hooks got in for him. And then there's a third that gets in. Montiel, you're trying to take Selby out of his comfort zone. Look at Fernando, he's fearless. So, the smaller Montiel enjoys the sixth. Left up to the body by Montiel. And trained here for his last few fights. But. bad spot he lost the, the ability almost to fight that night that's serving as his jab as we come to the end of round nine your number 10 unless you have the pedigree which he does from has kept them on the end of his jab too but now as opposed to the first couple of rounds it takes longer to get there an outstanding jab and he needs the high volume of punches. Titles in those weight classes. And just ran into a guy here. Lee, the Barry Boy Assassin Selby.